What's going on guys, TTL here. Let's keep on crushing it, keep on killing these plays. Had a rough NFL Sunday, so you know what that means. It's time to bounce back with NBA tomorrow. We have a huge slate, a huge slate of games tomorrow. Um, so let's just get into it, guys. Um, we're going to be using Outlier for our research. I think there's 10 or 11 games tomorrow, maybe even more. Um, that's 3, 6, 9... 13 games tomorrow. It's crazy, guys. I was able to found some, find some deep value tomorrow. And I'm going to be honest, Underdog and Chalkboard both got bumped like that. So if you're not in VIP, in VIP, you guys need to hurry up and sign up, guys. It's $20 a month. And if we don't profit on your first day, you get your $20 back. So if all the picks combined do not profit on your first day, you'll get that $20 refunded and keep your month until January 11th. So make sure you guys sign up today. Guys, let's crush this NBA slate. I'm going to give out three free picks for today on YouTube. So let's just get into these picks, guys. I do appreciate all the love that you guys have been giving me. I have just two requests, guys, or I guess three. Leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm uploading every single day. I'm even going to upload on Christmas, guys. Every single day. We're on the grind. You know how it is. And then number three, guys. Sign up for Chalkboard. Use the link in the uh, comments down below or in the description. Sign up for Chalkboard, Underdog, Sleeper, any of those websites. Make your first deposit of $10 or more and you'll get a 100% deposit match and you'll get a week free of VIP for each website that you uh, sign up and deposit to. Just go to the Discord, open up a little uh, support ticket each one you sign up to, you'll get a free week. So really loving it, guys, especially Chalkboard. We've been crushing these five-unit plays with the alt lines that they make available. But just wanted to say that before we got into the video, and let's get into these actual picks, guys. So one of my top picks of the day is actually going to be Victor Wimbanyama. And this was a play that got bumped on. It actually got taken off of Underdog. This was a VIP play. It's 13 on prize picks. This was 12 and a half on underdog we locked it in at 12 and a half we got that added value and guys i do love the 13 though i think there is some push potential but i'm loving this at 13 still let's take a look at victor Wimbanyama, and we can see over 12 and a half rebounds and assists is around minus 135 across the board for all sports books we can see in 2023 in the head-to-head -head matchup this was about a month and a half ago he got 13 so he would have pushed here in 2023, he's gone over this in 11 of 20, so it's sort of 50-50. Every game that he's gone under is because either it was a blowout and he didn't get full minutes, or it was like one off. So we can see this seven, he played 23 minutes. This seven, 26. This nine, 28. This one, he missed by one, and he played 34 minutes, his normal run. This one, he got 10 in just 21 minutes. This one, he got nine in 28, seven in 26. 11 this one again was just a close one he almost went over but just couldn't get it and then we can see uh houston the rockets rebounds and assist defense they are 13th in the league for rebounds allowed first in the league for least amount of assists and i know that's scary to look at when you first look but then when you look at it versus um power forwards it's 14th and 15th and when you look at it versus centers it's actually 16th and 28th so i expect women yama to have plenty of potential to get both assists and rebounds this game. I'm loving this matchup for him, and we're locking in the over rebounds and assists with confidence. Next up, one of our uh, next favorite plays is going to be Savanis, and we're going to take his under 21 and a half rebounds and assists. Again, this one's already been bumped from 21 and a half to 21. We're getting that crazy value right now, guys. But we're going to take under 21 and a half rebounds and assists. Let's take a look at it on Outliers, the bonus. We can see under 21 and a half rebounds and assists is minus 130 or minus 135 on every sports book. So around the same odds we get on prize picks. In the head-to-head -head matchup, he stayed under in two out of three. In 2023, he stayed under this number in 14 of 20 games. This is absolutely crazy. We can see the Nets are 13th in the least amount of rebounds allowed, fifth in the least amount of assists allowed. So... A good matchup for him, too, as they uh, don't allow too many rebounds and assists. And we can take a look versus centers. They actually go down to third in rebounds allowed and third in assists allowed. So versus centers, they typically only allow 13 rebounds and assists. So really loving the spot for DeMontis Sabanis. We're locking it in with con confidence. The under 21 and a half 
rebounds and assists. Again, I'm still liking it at 21. It just adds some push potential. And you know what, guys? I actually changed my mind. Instead of just three picks, we're going to give out four picks. So Because there's four picks I'm really confident in. Let's uh, go ahead and give out four picks. So these are the top two. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do Paul George over nine and a half rebounds and assists. So let's take a look at this one. Paul George over nine and a half. We can see this is around minus 130, minus 125, depending on the sports book. And this versus the Trailblazers. In the head-to-head -head matchup, he's gone over this in four out of six games. The one game versus them this year was around two months ago, month and a half, and he only got nine. So very close. Um, in 2023, he's went over this in 13 of 21. But we can see over his last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Over his past 13 games, he cashed in 11. He cashed in 11 in a row, which is crazy. Um, we could also take a look at the spread. Now, the Clippers are 13-point favorites. I'm really hoping that this isn't a blowout because if it is, obviously, Paul George will sit. But I do think he could potentially get the 9.5 rebounds and assists in just the, th uh, the first three quarters. So I am loving this. We can take a look at the... Uh, Portland Trailblazers, re rebounds and assists defense. They're 26th in rebounds, 15th in assists. So really loving this spot for Paul George, locking it in with confidence on the over 9.5 rebounds and assists. And the last pick, we're going to go ahead and look at Jimmy Butler, and we're going to take his under 5.5 rebounds. So this is one that a lot of people in the VIP are even a little bit questioning of. But I'm really liking this. I know it is against the Hornets, and I know that Adebayo is out. That's the only reason I'm a little bit scared of this play um, is because Adebayo is out. But even with Adebayo out, he's still favored to go under this. Minus 128, minus 129 odds on different sports books. Over his last 10, he's went under 9 out of 10. Um, in 2023, he stayed under in 13 of 18, and we can change this up and say without Adebayo. Without Adebayo playing, he stayed under in five of five games, guys. Every time I've touched Butler's under recently, that's what everybody on YouTube says. Guys, bro, Adebayo's out. Dude, you can't play that. Like the past three or four times I've played Butler, that's what I've been hearing, and he's still been cashing the under. It doesn't matter if it's rebounds and assists, rebounds, whatever it is. Um, I'm loving his under. Um, he's getting around four rebounds per game on average without Adebayo. And this, again, is without Adebayo. If we take the uh, take it with him, he's actually under in 13 of 18. So, I mean, I'm loving this play today. We can see the Hornets are 23rd for rebounds allowed, allowing 45 rebounds per game. But against his position, it's actually 13th. They only allow seven and a half rebounds per game to his position. So, I'm loving this. It is supposed to be a close game. Um, as long as we don't see overtime or anything like that, I really just do not see him hitting this number. I'm really loving this. And again, I'm locking it in with confidence. So these are my top four picks of the day, guys. We're taking Victor Wimanyama over 13 RA, Sabanis under 21 RA, Paul George over 9.5, and, and then Butler under 5.5 rebounds. So let's lock it in with confidence, guys. Let's kill it. Make sure you uh, go buy a shirt, guys. Um, Teslamidfs.com. I could copy you a shirt. And guys, I'll see you in the Discord. Make sure you sign up for Chalkboard, Sleeper, Underdog, Price Picks. Use code TTL. Get that deposit match. Get that free week of VIP for each one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.